Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're going to melt down possibly the cheapest AK in the country, certainly the cheapest 5.56 AK in the country. What we have here is a Pioneer Arms 5.56 Sporter with the underfolder. And unless you're living under a rock, I've got three videos on this gun already. And uh, I'm going to link all those down below. At this point, we've shot it up to about 1,080 rounds. The test firing has added another 80 rounds. Then we test fired another 30 rounds. So I'll put the current number here. That's where we're at now. A little bit of uh, full turbo fire, mostly semi-auto fire. So today we're gonna shoot it in super semi-auto, thanks Dissident Arms. I've searched, I can't find a uh, burn down on a 5.56 AK. I don't think it's ever been done before. So going on 5.45 numbers, I think I have a pretty good idea how long this gun's gonna last. I've read all the comments on the first three parts of this gun and it seems like it's split 50-50. Half of everyone is kind of rooting for the underdog because this is an AK from a company that most people would tell you not to like. I'm a different, I don't care, because I paid for it with my own money, so it doesn't matter. And then there's another half of the people, mainly on Reddit, that just can't stand that the gun's actually working and that's all right by me. A ton of people begged me not to burn this thing down. I guess because it's such an anomaly to so many people that this gun's actually working at the price point. I had hundreds of comments begging us not to do this, but we're doing it anyway, for science. For science. And my main man Brennan here, Xander from AmeriCaliber, provided all the ammo for today, so thanks dude. Absolutely. What do you got going on in your life right now? What's going on with the business? Oh, you know, getting stuff in and sh shipping it out. We're uh, still, you know, keeping the model of shipping stuff out same day. 3 PE order by 3 PM, it's on a truck that same day to you. So you, you provided door. all the ammo for the past burndowns, and this is a new venture, a new company, AmeriCaliber.com. Absolutely. Yeah, AmeriCaliber.com. You know, we're keeping it simple. Uh, we're still around, still alive. Uh, you know, if you guys need anything, new numbers on the website. We're, uh, we're out here in Tomball. We're still with the same guys, and uh, it's going good. And we're actually shooting 5.56 Norma. I think in a few mags, we're going to shoot the value of the gun. Yeah, probably just about now worth at where ammo's going. Um, yeah, we got some Norma. We got some Lone Star on standby. So, you know, whatever we need, we're going to get it done. Cool. Thanks again, man. Absolutely. Video would not be possible without you. We'll see you at Clash Bash, too. Yes, sir. We'll be there. And I'm here with my other main man, Tony. Kyber Customs third pin threads would not be possible without your input on this video. What do you got going on? Well, first of all, who's not rooting and tooting for a meltdown? I don't I, get it. I was tooting earlier. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. I'm really here for moral support and just to supervise. I brought little Kyber here. Mm -hmm. uh, I have authorized her. She's head of security today. I've authorized her to bring the violence. If, uh, if anybody uh, is not being safe, uh, wearing their iPro, ear pro, uh, broken legs, broken arms, uh, put them to sleep, whatever you gotta do, little Kyber. Can I get a hold on there, brother? Hold on there, brother. <laughs> listen. I'm not wearing any iPro. Listen up, dude. <laughs> and Dissident Arms, the owners of this beautiful property and the guys that helped us with this full turbo AK go super semi-auto. So when you guys aren't at your beautiful property doing stuff, if people don't know about Dissident Arms, like hit them with it. What can they learn about you guys in 60 seconds? I mean, we're well known for our AK based shotguns, but guys, we're also doing uh, ground up rifles, uh, stuff built here right uh, at our facility. Check out our defector rifle. They'll be there at Kalash Bash. Competition sold out. It's been sold out for some time, but guess what? General admission tickets left. Oh, that's an OG yeah. KB yeah. shirt. Yeah, yeah, but it matched with matched my outfit today. But uh, so general admission tickets left. Glad to have you back for another meltdown. Check out our defector rifle, guys. World class competition grade rifles, shotguns, and soon to be pistols. DissidentArms.com. Hell yeah. All right, Cody from Weapon Genetics. Or where are you from now? I'm from Reddit. I'm the official Reddit supervisor of this meltdown. Oh. Dude, how did you become a moderator of AK-47 Sub? Well, if you get banned enough times, yeah. they actually make you a moderator. Damn. Because they, know, chest, they know that they want the worst of the worst on Reddit, so, you know, they take the worst and then they promote them. Well, thank God you're here. This wouldn't be possible without AK-47 Sub, so thank you, dude. Yeah, for sure. And you're going to be pulling the trigger for the most part today, <sighs> similar to other meltdowns we've done, head to toe with PPE. Yeah. Face shield, we have welder's gloves, FR retardant clothing, proper, so uh, we're safe. Proper footwear. Crocs. <laughs> Let's get it started. Let's get it started. What? 
I do. Pull the bolt, lock it. Lock it a couple times. Keep going. <laughs> Maybe don't throw them all the way over there. Oh, still got some. Fell off sem it fell off full. That's all it was. It fell down to to slow semi. Ooh, don't do this to us now. These mags are brand new. Oh no, brother. Mags? Yes. I'm going to start feeding it Polish mags. Oh yeah, let's start loading some of those Polish mags behind us, fellas. There's a whole bucket of Polish mags on that table. Oh, she likes the Polish mags. Sailor Moon mag. Oh, run that camera too. Cody, you about ready? Try another one of these bulgy mags. Bulgy mags are a no-go. It likes. This is a converted pot arms mag. Jam. Double feed. All right, Code, I'll do one more and I'll tag you in. It loves the Polish mags. I'm here from Reddit. I'm here to make things worse. <laughs> Stand by. I'm from Reddit. I'm only here to make things worse. Dude, she's hot already. We're going to go ahead and put that down. Thank you, sir. Man, that magway is really tight. Uh oh, time for a big boy, huh? Wow, that mag, that is really tight. It's gonna break the mag. I'm not gonna break that mag. I think it'll break that mag. There we go, that one'll go in. So pull the bolt back and that little tin will walk in. Oh, you think so? Oh, yeah. Oh, we gotta do the Pakistani reload, huh? Yeah. There it is. It did take a little bit off the top of the mag. Oh, uh, we'll go with this one. Man, they're tight. Son of a gun, dude. Dude, these are, they're not wanting to go in, dude. Screw those. Dude, that mag. Man, I do not like these. These suck. The, the gun has a very 
very tight mag weld. There we go. Ooh, that plastic stinks. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, bottom handguard's gone. <laughs> Stuff no is falling apart. Oh, it's on fire oh, now. No. Oh, my God. What was that? Back up in minutes. Something just fell. That was the heat shield. You good? I'm gonna try and jam this mag in here, dude, but... God! Oh. That plastic is all drippy and hot. You got gloves. Yeah, but my Crocs are not gonna not gonna hold up well. Son of a gun, dude! These WBP mags are so freaking tight. Hey, pause for a second. Yep. We're dead. While we let the gun cool down and Cody cool down, let me tell you about Clash Bash Texas. It is the largest AK event in the country. And if you wanna do stuff like we're doing in this video, like shoot full turbo guns, I'm talking hundreds and hundreds from 55 plus different vendors over two days. There's a link down in the description below. We still have general admission tickets and camping tickets, very few camping tickets available. If you wanna come out and experience that and be around a thousand other people, just like yourself watching this video now, just like people like me, like Rachel, like everyone you're seeing in this video, like true AK nerds, KB's the place, man. There's very few tickets left. Uh, we really wanna hammer that home. If you have thought about it, don't wait until the last minute. Get them while you can. It's a hundred bucks and you get to come out for two solid days and just be immersed in AK culture. And we have $100,000 on the prize table. All right, back to the video. Here we go, back at it. Come on, WB, stupid freaking WBP mags, man. Dude, I can't, those suck. There we go. What was that? I don't know. Did you bark? I don't know what that was. Hey, the barrel has a groove. You want to notice that? <clears throat> Dude, I can't. These things, I can't get them in there. Fuck, that bolt is hot, too. I can't even hardly get them out. There we go. Ooh, that stopped early. Heck, you got one of the. Oh, yeah. Whew. Uh oh. We just broke a firing pin. I think we did. Yep. Firing pin's done. Okay. Gun is clear. This thing stinks so bad. Firing pins gotta be bad. She hot, boys. What you thinking? You broke a firing pin. Oh shoot! Sorry about your table. Yep, firing pins. Up. Well, that's what everyone said would happen, and it happened. Right at about, what, 500 rounds? I have no idea. <laughs> you gotta remember, you know, a firing pin is something, you you know, that you will replace at some point in everything. Turn over towards the light a little bit. There you go. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure our firing pin broke the tip off of it. Let me see that little hole. Not protruding. Not protruding at all, yeah. Good so, thing we brought a spare. Yeah, let me, uh, it's still really hot. We're gonna let people down and I'll, I'll pop those out. So explain to me what you're seeing here. So, 
our firing pin, we pulled out our retaining pin. We actually didn't pull it out. It fell out. I guess from the heat and expansion of that on the bolt, it literally just kind of fell so out. So put it in there and then turn it upside down. Let it just fall out, yeah. So dude, if we replace the firing pin, I don't know if it's gonna stay. Granted, that stays in the cam channel, so I would think it would hold the pin in. Well, I mean, <laughs> I kind of just moved on its own. <laughs> uh, man, I uh, I think we're still good to go. I There's a so. little bit of peening going on on the back right here. That's kind of interesting to see. But the bolt lugs, they all look really good. I mean, these bolt lugs look really nice. Yeah, I, I can't believe it's uh, I am gone this long. Impressed. I don't know how much ammo we've shot. So just the tip of the firing pins broke? Broke. Yeah. Just, yep. the, just the tip. Broke off. Did you see that the pin just fell out? That, that retains it? It happened to me as well. Did it? Yeah, so I put it back in. I wasn't trying to fix anything that yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, came on the Okay, gun. so it may have been loose to begin with. It okay. was, definitely. Ah, that's a good point. But when it's cammed in place, it should hold Correct. the pin in. Yeah, it's be so That's the one you're talking about? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, a, uh... That's why I asked you if you want us, wanted us to fix anything. We oh, no, no, no. We want to so see what didn't. actually fails. Oh, yes. Nope. We didn't do any profiling on the bolt, yes, uh, the hammer, or anything. thing to mention. Yeah. The, the pin has rattled out of the... Show me, your hands are in the way. Okay, so there's a pin. This nut goes down and keeps everything tight, but there's a pin that runs through here, through your trunnion oh, spindle. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it fell out, and then this rattled off somewhere. But we found it, we so can, we're gonna- we can, we, jam, we can jam baling wire Yeah, we're hole. gonna put some baling wire through it. Or we'll use the old firing pin. <laughs> Just smash it through Oh there. man, if only if it was small enough, that would be so funny. Gun fix itself, it's fine. Anyone got any chewing gum? Yeah, spit on it. Right. Barrel's starting to look like a exhaust tip on a GTR. Hey, Clay. Yeah? Look at this right here. Remember where the last barrel burst? Yeah. I it think that's just from dripping. I Maybe, but it, it looks Oh, yeah, that's all plastic. But it, what I'm saying is, see the, the diff, how the heat is... Swell, is you've got a, different, yeah. a pattern here, so it's yeah. consistent all the way down. But right here, it's obviously getting more heat right there. The barrel's going to go. It's not drooping, so it's going to allow it to keep running. Yeah, I'm just, I'm worried about barrel going and then another round coming behind it and going out the side or into my arm or something. Well, the second it goes, it should stop. There's no more gas, you know? Should. Bailing wire for the win again. Do, just twist it. Leave it long. Right. Just don't let Grab it scratch you. Grab dick and twist it. This gun is still so piping hot. High resolution images of Perfect. The cover band. Yes. Yeah. Dude, fixed. I saw you Gunsmith. Okay, this mag only has 26 rounds, 23 rounds in it. Okay. Well, well, yeah, there you go. All right, we ready? Yep. Whoopsies. Well, it's got this accurizer that I put on the stabilizing rod and we recalibrated the sights. So, you know. Who's throwing dirt at me? Oh no, the flux capacitor fell off. Ugh. Stupid mag. Ugh. Reinsert. It's not going in. Those mags. See, that one's perfect. Ah. Gunsmith. God, so tight. Go 
Going with a big boy. Another big boy. I thought y'all were throwing mud at me. It's not y'all. Uh oh. Oh! We broke another firing pin. You want to see if you still see it? I'll trick you. I don't know, peoples. Maybe the twenty round mag will kill it. Uh oh. Uh Rose. I saw I saw a little gas come out of something. Uh oh. Bail drooping a little finely? Yeah, it is. Still holding one and a half MOA, it's awesome. Doesn't really feel like it to me, but. Dude, check out my grouping. Huh? Woo! She's spicy. Do you see any drooping? Yeah, a little bit. See the separation there? It's, it's a little bit, but it's not much. Yeah, remember too, so here's another thing. Although 5.56 is going to wear the barrel up faster, smaller bullet, so you have, technically you have more like barrel there. Wall. It's thicker wall barrel, yeah. Like so, wall. Uh, everybody says 5.56 five, AKs are not good, but man. We have found with the right mag, it runs. Dude, perfect. I'm, I'm like, dude, I, I want to find, I want to build one of those 20 inch Sega 5.56 guns, like into a DMR, or like a Kevlar vest hole puncher machine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed, guys. That was, that was a lot of ammo. I was sitting here praying for it to fail so we could get it on camera before it. Dude, that barrel's just got a little bit of droop. I mean, it's almost none. Hold it out straight. It's actually going, it's going to the left a little bit. Oh, it is starting to droop. Yeah. yeah for sure. Oh yeah, you can see it. Hey, are we shooting this thing more or not? Ajiba jaba juba jaba deep beep bee. I want to go home and pee pee. I don't know. All right, here we go. For the motherland. We'll come back to those mags. I hate those mags. I hate these mags too, I think. No, those are nice. Oh, 
Let's try with this. There we go. Gotta have that. Pokemon or whatever it's called. Dude, there's a lot of heat. I can feel heat coming through the receiver through the trigger. We got a problem. Firing pin, maybe? I don't know. That recoil spring is is super soft. Yeah, but you had dead triggers. Okay, let's go to oil. Nope. Get the pin's gone. Right, right the chamber. I know. Take a look at that pin. Yeah, nothing. I think Skip. the firing pin's gone. Gun's clear, yes. Clear. Yeah. What are we thinking? Yep, broke a firing pin. That broke an FB pin. So we're about a thousand rounds per firing pin approximately. So the gun definitely has a problem keeping firing pins intact. And you know, there could be a couple things there. One, you know that channel where the firing pin goes through there? On a cheaper gun, maybe it's not machined as perfect, or maybe the geometry inside there isn't exactly right, so when that firing pin is hitting, could not be going straight through there, could be hitting the side of it. Could be a bunch of things, could be stuff like that. I don't think it's a metallurgy problem, because we tried two different firing pins, and both of them have failed, so. You know, it's a 500, oh, it's melting the table. You know, it's a $500 gun. Uh, what do you expect, you know? I mean, this gun's gonna go more than most people it's gonna have a longer lifespan than most people can afford to shoot, you know? Oh, you don't want to touch it, it's wicked hot. Uh, you know, without putting a straight edge on it, I'd say it's got some slight droop, but it's a very gradual. Oh, it does. That's where the 762 by 39 had a very distinct point of drooping. And I think that that's, um, the thicker walls have lent itself to lasting more rounds. Yeah, it's higher pressure, potentially more heat uh, from a 5.56, but in wall thickness, if you were to compare the two, I don't have a measurement, but this is like having an H-bar barrel, heavy barrel versus a thin wall pencil barrel. Um, so if the front end can stay intact, then you're gonna basically keep going until you have something fail in the gun, firing pin failed twice. Um, 
Uh, Cody brought up a good thing about checking headspace on a gun that's shot this many rounds full auto. That could play into the, a firing pin issue, but at the same time, man, it's a. Uh, I think it's all all wall thickness. That's why it's still there. The gun's still running. We might have a little bit of compression there on the spring. Oh, well, there's a lot. So here's a your your wall thickness on a 7.62 gun is 139 thousandths, versus on a 5.56 ones it's 189 thousandths. Yeah. So it's quite a bit more. Fifty thousandths on both sides, right? You know, so. Um, as far as material wise, um, you know, if you did the math for uh, volume, um, there's going to be a, a exponential more material um, in a 5.56 five, five, barrel than a, than a 7.62 by 39. And don't quote me on those numbers because I'm just going off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I think the, the thinnest spot on the AK barrel is 590 thousandths, I think. Yeah. But we've, but seen, be we've seen other meltdowns where 5.45 barrels go at like seven, 800 rounds. And is that use like Kalashnikov like Concern had a meltdown? Correct me if I'm wrong. The yeah. gun went seven, eight hundred rounds and then sent a round out of the barrel right behind the gas. I, I'll I'll tell you, um, a lot of people will say, you know, swear upon one manufacturer or another manufacturer, but um, we've had to, um, you know, work on gu different guns from different manufacturers. And you'd be surprised that some barrels, when you go to rebarrel a gun, how easy some will drill. Oh, yeah. And how hard other barrels will literally just fuck your tooling up. And you gotta like go really slow with them, and you'd be surprised at how how durable, you know, a barrel is that you may not even know their name uh, versus one that you think is uh, is the top of the line. No, I'm I'm right there with you. Drop us something. The FN barrels, unbelievable. When I thread, when I cut and thread an FN AK barrel, it threads just like a scar barrel. My how machine, hard they are, yeah. My machine, the, it it just they thread exactly the same. Yep. Um, I really like those FN barrels. I think they're hard as hell. I like them. Uh, but again, it's and a then point. you know, I you know, who knows exactly if, if these are Polish imports? You know, a lot of things on the gun are kind of sporter-ish. Um, that probably leans leans lends it to being a, a less expensive gun. Like that, it doesn't have the uh, the X Y Z on the 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 you know on the, uh, the on the yeah on the pins, which is on the other side. So it's missing the uh, Y mark on the full on the third spot there and then the uh and i don't know if that barrel's cold hammer forged so at the price point i highly doubt it there's no way yeah um but, and you know it's almost like at some point maybe a what does a softer barrel possibly be better because it's not as brittle and it's not going to split it'll actually expand and contract better so the psa did not have a cold hammer forged barrel it had their you know their entry level yeah. barrel yeah. But on an import, you know, you don't you don't know where, where they source that from. It could yeah. be an overrun from a military contract, and there's their barrels. You know, it may be every out of spec FB Radon barrel. I don't know. Or Chinesium. Yeah, it could be complete. Or maybe we got the one good one. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's well, what Reddit's it, gonna say. We're we got sample one. of one. Sample of one. Here we are. Here we are. So today didn't go how I thought it would go. Dude, this is a uh, a big shock. I'm very happy. I'm very impressed. I'm definitely gonna go buy one of these for sure. Um, man, I, I did not think this was going to go this long. I had high hopes. I was thinking a thousand rounds. You were thinking seven, eight hundred. Yeah. Man. It did seven hundred a couple different times. Yeah. You so. I know, dude. I'm tired. Uh, man, we, we looked at the bolt a little bit and the carrier and we look at the inside. The ejector has got a little bit of wear on it. Yeah. The, the trunnion, front trunnion looks good. Barrel pin's good. Nothing's walked or moved. But is that not a bulge in the so it, gas tube? I, I don't. So. I can't tell. There is something we're going to look at. There may be a bulge in the gas tube, but it actually looks like they may have actually put that bulge there purposely. So whenever you're taking your carrier mm. out, it tilts a little bit. It's fake I think, bulge. I think that's what they did. I don't think that's from pressure or anything. Because if it was going to bulge somewhere, it would bulge up where the where it's hotter. So let's um, let's let's talk about this. Before we shot semi-auto rounds, a thousand eighty. I know. So we had obviously with some camera issues. They overheat. It's gotten really hot, and we've we can we couldn't keep mags loaded fast enough because we didn't think. We put another 700 rounds on the table. And we're like, there's no way. It gets through it. We can't load mag mags fast enough. So a few iterations of that, and we don't feel like putting any more ammo through it, but the firing pin broke for the second time. So we broke the factory pin yeah. and a Polish pin out of a mini barrel. And that, I don't know if, we, if you already talked about it, but there could be some geometry inside of that bolt that's not exactly perfect. It's a $500 gun. You know, maybe that firing pin is the firing pin's going through the the hole in the, in the How face. Does that work? <laughs> that's, uh, it could be that it's not perfectly aligned and it may be mm -hmm. and maybe that's why the original firing pin was round maybe that round firing pin makes it stay st more st in the you know 
a line in the center of the of the yeah the factory pin lasted a hell of a lot longer than the bulgarian the yeah. bulgarian the, the fb polish pin so we're thinking because that so that retention pin obviously just falls out because that hole is so loose and that pin's not super tight it's killing these firing pins that and then well you what Cody was saying is you can see the tips right there, how they're shining. That's where the wearing's happening. And so if this hole inside the carrier isn't correctly fit for that, mm -hmm. then it's just causing unnecessary pressure. Dude, your, your bolt looks pretty good. Yeah. Extractor's got a little wear. You've got a little peening up there, which is pretty normal. Maybe a little bit of peening back there. But on your locking lugs, you know where your safety is? You know, that's where, I say it's not your physical safety, but the, what matters, what keeps you safe. Is these surfaces Watch here. Watch the shadow there. No, no. And they look good, man. Those those surfaces look fine to me. Ow. After? Oh, I don't want that pin to fall. It's that pin right there, right? Yeah, it's fine. Ugh. I got it. <laughs> right there. So you can see it just falls right out. But it did that before the meltdown, too. So. Yeah. That is true. Keep that in mind. But yeah, uh, Russian uh, guns have a spring-loaded firing yeah. pin. Yeah. And it just, it doesn't, it's actually not needed for function. You can take it out, it'll still function. But I wonder if having a your your firing pin always in the forward position, not rattling around until it's struck. So is that peening or is that cut supposed to be there, Cody? Which one? This little shiny yeah. spot here. You're talking about right here? Yes. That's no, that's normal. Okay. Yeah, that's normal. Cams. <clears throat> there ain't no wear on that. Hey guys. No, no real wear. Dude, really not. No, I think we're good. Y'all can go ahead. Yeah, we're good now. Yeah, y'all yeah, go ahead. Would you like to try it? I believe this carrier is cast. So that's that could be the thing. Uh, we kind of we're gonna play around with some different firing pins and see if we can figure out what the internal geometry of that actual bolt is. But, but the, the gun, gun's alive. The gun's shoot. Look at the hole. It's, it, with you know shooting one handed, it's still grouping men in a pie plate, which it's is pretty accurate. I'm happy with that, man. So uh, early on. We saw the handguard did not last long. I don't think the handguard's a very good quality at all. I mean, it separated quickly. The stock fell apart. We actually had a pin fall out that holds a little retention nut on the wire, the, the underfolder. We didn't realize that until we were like playing with it after we took a break. Yeah. Fix, fix that with baling wire. And Here, oh, the, and the, the pin, the, re, the pin retention on the bolt that holds the firing is pin loose, in is loose. The pin just falls out. Uh, real quick, everybody says that surpluses are dead and that there's no more good deals. Dude, for a thousand bucks, you can get an AK with a few mags and a ton of ammo. If you needed a, gu a gun to just fit in the closet mm -hmm. to save your life someday or defend your family. Or that's... not. Who cares? Or just go blast and shoot into dirt berms, you Look, know? Buy whatever gun you want. End of the day, the gun's still alive. It does have a problem eating firing pins, and it does have some magazine fitment issues. That is obvious. But yeah, it but... didn't burst the barrel, which we thought it would do. And that's all I can say about that. I'm impressed. I'll buy one. All right. We'll see you next time.